first thing that you need to understand is that these videos point to something. But at the same time, that pointing becomes something else. And like a dream, everything is in flux and motion and is meant to open you up to new possibilities, to awaken within you ideas, feelings, energies. It's important not to approach this with the idea that you will get to a definitive answer. This is an open-ended process, a journey, a stepping into the mystery of yourself. Play with it. Don't treat it as sacred or pure or inviolate, but mess around with it. What does it sound like with your favorite song playing over the top of it? How about the song you hate the most? What if you put it to Rick Astley? Allow yourself to have a sense of humor and a sense of seriousness about it. These readings swim in a sea of symbols and ideas, and it is important to explore them and think about them, as well as to feel them. So even when you find a definitive symbol that you know, and you say to yourself, oh yes, there is the sign of the sun, my sun is in Aries or some other kind of cognitive leap, Go back and ask yourself what else might be hiding there. What's behind the sun? One of the most important aspects of stepping into a dream is to remember. So set reminders for yourself. View it a pile in the beginning. Come back in a week and view it again. Come back in a month and view it again still. Come back to it over and over again with the seasons at the mark of the year, come back to it and drain it dry of all the mystery and majesty, of all the explanations, of all the synchronous motions between yourself and your impossible reading in the universe that you could possibly wrangle from it. Don't be satisfied with a quick viewing and don't get comfortable with a quick answer. Impossible readings time to digest.